that you was important was you, brother. Um, you never was nobody. Um, so I said all that to say, not to put you down, but to say to you, this narrative about people hating on you, everybody hating on you, everybody against you. I'm not against you. I don't hate on you. I've never hated on you. I've never had a problem with you because guess what? You could never have been a problem with me. You could have never been a problem for me. All right. So with that being said, I just want to tell you, listen, I've, I've been, I've been, I've been holding something for you because I, I figured that maybe at some point you would uh you would believe so much of these 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 tall tales about yourself that you would maybe one day I would have to put you black back in your place because prior to this we, we it was all good you was a little nigga that I met at the gas station handing out the CDs I never seen no bands never seen no jury never seen none of that but listen who am I to judge everybody everybody got a a, a, a road to follow listen listen after all this talk these bricks in his backpack you, you you're talking so crazy and you're talking about this money you're talking about this jury and all that brother you should never talk money and jury please because I bought something for you that I've been holding I've been keeping it on ice for a long time you know I'm, I'm gonna show you what it is I've been holding this because I, I, I figured at some point that I would have to put you back in your place And it's cold. Show sure you have. Brother. We kept Ab, it on real ice. Kept it on. <laughs> I've been holding this for you. Do you remember this is your Jesus piece? This is the Jesus piece that you wore every single day. You got up, you went to video shoots with. You got up, you put this around your neck. You went to um you went to parties with this. You went to industry events. You went to uh you did shows with this on. You took a lot of pictures with this on right here. Um anybody that's watching this can find can find out that. You can you can easily find pictures of this same the same chain um, around your neck, right? Um, the thing, the, the, the significant thing about this chain, because I don't want people to think, oh man, oh grimy, yeah, this chain. This is the chain that that Troy Ave was wearing when he was uh, you know, got into his his, his scuffle at uh at Urban Plaza. Um, and the reason why I held this chain is because not because I didn't want to give it back, because I just felt like you know, maybe 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 one day I will have to like step on him a little bit and, and remind him who he really is right um the reason why i held this chain is not because i didn't want to give it back but but the chain's fake this is fake this is a fake chain this is this chain that you wore every single day this chain is fake you wore this chain every day and i know y'all gonna say oh that's not his chain he gonna say that's not his chain but guess what you, they gonna say we photoshopped it <laughs> They gonna say they gonna say we photoshopped it well it looks like the troy Ave saga continues because now we have Mano dropping a video with Troy Ave's chain from the night of Irvin Plaza, saying that that chain is straight fugazi. But let's backtrack a bit and start this from the beginning and really explain Mano's involvement in the whole situation. The night of the Irvin Plaza shooting, Mano was in attendance. He was one of the acts set to perform that night and his girlfriend was one of the people that actually got hit with a bullet. Now let's fast forward to this year. Mano is doing an interview with Angela Yee and she asks him about his thoughts on Tax Stone and Troy Ave during the trial. With the narrative that's been put out there as if, you know, Tax Stone was there to try to look for a problem. Tax Stone was actually there. That man was there chilling, mm -hmm. right? That man was there, you know, you know, chilling, you know, enjoying the moment and you know, you know, these other dudes came in there looking for a problem. These other dudes came in there with that energy looking to try to have a moment and the moment just didn't go their way. So, I mean, I just have a, a you know, I just uh, in disagreement with the whole narrative of becoming a victim after you tried to be uh, 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 an aggressor. Mm. All right, well. Now, it looks like Troy Ave didn't like what Mano had to say because he decided to respond on his podcast and talk down on Mano that night. All right, Mano got a lot to say. I'm adjusting on the fact that so, so we get paid for that. That's what I like to do. I like to get paid for shit. No more of this shit with you monkey niggas for nothing. I don't think it's personal yet, except for the personal fact that niggas shot his bitch. And he's seen a lot, but I ain't seen so much when he ran a fuck about it. He had no shoes on. He ran it by his shoes. How'd you feel like? Okay, cool. And that's what led to Mano dropping this video with Troy Ave's chain. Now, I do find it a little weird that Mano just had that chain for all of these years, but maybe he thought it would come in handy. I'm not sure. 
but apparently it's fake and it's a chain that Troy Ave would be wearing a lot back in the day. At the moment, Troy Ave got a lot of drama with a lot of people and it's getting really hard to keep up. Troy Ave is talking so much that it forced Mayno to take it back to the Smack DVD days. We'll see where it goes from here, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Mayno got Troy Ave's fake chain. What else will Mayno expose? Will Troy Ave even respond to this? And am I the only one that finds it weird that Troy Ave had this chain to begin with? Let me know in the comments. Shout out to all the yo yas on the east side. It's your boy KD. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.